Hi there, Bernie Maloney of Powered by Teams, an Agile consultancy based in Silicon Valley. This is another episode in Agile 5x5 short videos on Agile topics to help you improve your practice. This one is on how to say no politely. Ever been in one of those situations where you needed to be able to say no but not get fired? Or maybe you're a product owner and you get a lot of requests. Well, this video is for you. I'm going to give you some ideas on how you can say no politely. I want to give a shout out to Heinrich Nieberg. I'll put a link in the comments in the YouTube video to his classic video, uh, Agile Product Ownership in a Nutshell, where he points out the importance of product owners saying no, because they're going to be getting a lot of requests. Now, unfortunately, Heinrich didn't cover how you might be able to say no. That's where this video kind of comes in. I also want to give a shout out to a recent client, Aaron, who prompted this question and got me to realize that I needed to walk my talk. I advocate to a lot of my clients that done beats perfect. And I recognize that I needed to resume these videos that I started pre pandemic. This was a good place to start. So Aaron, this one's for you. Let's go ahead and jump in with some ideas on how you can say no politely. Now, some of these are based in a talk given by the founder of Powered by Teams, Laura Powers called Say Yes to No at the 2017 Scrum Gathering in Dublin. And in that talk, Laura pointed out that there's um, layers of no. There's like a no, not me. We need other people in this discussion. There's a no, not yet. We need more information. Um, there's a no, not now. We can actually defer this. Laura also talked about a clean no and a heck no. Be careful about the heck no, y'all. Um, that could be career limiting. So you don't always have to give a straight yes or no when you've got some of these requests. Know some of these nuances. Now, Let's presume, no, not me is off the table, that we got the right people in the discussion. Like if you are a product owner, you should be empowered. Um, you should have the authorization to say no and have a no that sticks. And you might be in say sprint review where you get some of these suggestions that come up. So I'm gonna give you some ways that you can say no politely. A classic in Agile, it's almost a joke, is that's a really good idea. Let's go ahead and put it in the product backlog and then you bury it. So sometimes you might be getting some of those suggestions that you just want to defer and nobody's really going to track them later on. So that's one of the ways that you can say no politely. Another, you might have a stakeholder who's really passionate about something, but maybe that isn't shared widely. So you got to read the room that maybe this is in the interest of all these people gathered to discuss this right now and you can defer that one. Um, and it's like, it seems like you're really passionate about this. How about if I set up some time and we discuss it? You may be able to get some extra information out of them and that one-on-one -on -one discussion that really helps to incorporate it and bring everybody onto the same page about the importance of this so that a decision actually can be made. Now, let's say you're getting a little bit closer and there's some other nuances that need to be considered. Another good phrase is how does this fit with our product goal or our sprint goal? So product goals in Scrum um, go with every product backlog. They are tangible future states of the product. They're targets for your team to plan against. There's something that kind of acts as a filter for stuff that goes into your product backlog. So if something doesn't fit with a product goal, it doesn't belong in this product backlog. Maybe it's a good idea, but it belongs someplace else. So that's another way to say no. Or mm, how does this fit with a sprint goal? See, sprint goals are things that drive cohesion and focus for everybody during the sprint. And that's kind of a mm, maybe not now. Now goals, both product and sprint goals, are probably the number two thing that I work on with my clients. I find a lot of my clients don't have very clear intent. And getting clear about your product goals and your sprint goals can really help to have a much more crisp experience in Agile and get more of the results that you're hoping for. Now, there's still one more layer of no that I want to introduce you to, which is a no, not everything. See, the Agile Manifesto says responding to change over following a plan. Some stakeholders will interpret that to mean I can have anything. And something you need to be able to tell them is, yes, you can have anything, but it doesn't say that you can have everything. So another polite way of saying no is um, what are you willing to give up or trade off in order to be able to get that? Because the Agile Manifesto does say responding to change over following a plan, which does mean you can have anything, but it doesn't mean you can have everything. So if you found this video, um, please like it on YouTube, share it with your friends. It's not just for you. 
Um, and if you'd like to see more or stay in touch with us, you're going to find the ability to stay in touch with us here at Powered by Teams through that contact form that's just below my face. Until the next video, be well, stay vibrant, and thanks.